Hello everyone, I'm Nino and I'm working with William and Educraft Ideas and first going to have to model all of the objects um, before we can actually go ahead and animate them. So let's go ahead and delete all of those objects. Um, actually we don't want to delete the camera or the lamp so we're just going to delete the default cube as usual. So let's go ahead and delete this. So first of all we're going to make the world and uh, for all of you flat earthers out there, um, <laughs> I'd consider you stop watching because we're going to make a sphere. Alright, but we're going to start with a plane, so uh, you know, you at least got something, I guess. Um, and now we are going to add a plane, um, but first we're going to go to preferences, add-ons, and let's search for um, import images as planes. So you want to enable this one, so we can simply enable this and click away. And we're going to hit Shift A, and now we've got the option to import an image, images as planes. So let's go ahead and click that. I'm going to go to pictures where I saved it, and we're going to import the Earth diffuse. So let's go ahead and import this. You can see a nice plane. We can't see what's on there, so we have to go to viewport shading rendered. So uh, from the start we are in Eevee, so it's rendering in Eevee mode, not Cycles, but for this I'm actually going to keep it at Eevee, because it's all about animation and not so much about um, texturing and um, all of that. Even though we are going to texture the Earth, of course. Alright, so we've imported this and we're going to hit Tab to go to Edit Mode, and it's very important. And then we're going to rotate this plane, so press R, Y. 90 um, and then we have a flat plane and we now have to add an edge loop so hit tab if you are not in edit mode hit ctrl r and just add one edge loop right in the middle so hover over a side edge and left click and just hit escape to cancel this so um, why do we want this edge loop well we're going to um, bend this plane around its origin so that it's going to be a sphere so we're going to bend it two times, um, but we want to subdivide this. Um, so the reason we add this little edge loop is because we actually want a nice edge in the center of our plane. Um, and if we subdivide this, there's a possibility that this center is going to be a plane instead of an edge, if you know what I mean. If you don't know what I mean, you can just follow me along anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the modifier properties and let's add a subdivision surface because we need some geometry to bend, right? So let's go ahead and increase this to 6, 2 times, so viewport and render. And um, we don't want all of those corners on the sides because we want it to actually connect. So we're going to change this from um, cut mill clark to simple. Right, so now we're going to add a nice simple deform modifier and we're going to set this at bend. We're going to change the angle to 180, like that. And now we can see that we've got half of the cylinder, uh, which is perfect because we want to bend this another way. So we're going to add another modifier and we're going to set this at simple deform as well. And bend it around the Z axis and let's make this 360 degrees. So now we've got a full sphere. And you can see it's looking a little bit weird. <laughs> and that's simply because we still have an option enabled that we're going to disable right now. So let's go to the material properties and let's find, where is it? The back face. So show back face is enabled. We want this to be disabled. So just click it like that. And now you can see we've got the world nice and round. Yes, guys, round. So you can see that we've got a little seam right here. And that's simply because for some reason our, um, and what I just did was I right clicked this and pressed shade smooth. So um, we lose all of those separated faces. And now we're going to get rid of this little edge right here. So let's hit tab, let's press A. And actually let's uh, apply all of the modifiers first. So go to object mode, uh, hover your mouse over your modifiers in the modifier tab and press Ctrl A to apply, starting at the top. 
second and third. Now we can see that we actually have some geometry that is round as well. And we are going to um, press mesh, clean up and merge by distance. That should do the trick so you can see in the bottom it removed 319 vertices so that's where the plane connected to make a sphere those are now all merged let's see if that fixed the issue it did not so um i'm going to press tab again to go into edit mode select everything and let's hover our mouse over the right top corner until you see this little plus icon swipe it to the left and let's change this to let's see we're going to change this to the uv editor all right, so select everything and what we're simply going to do is zoom in so you can see the edge. We're going to press S and X and scale this down just a little bit like this. Because I think the um, the line that we saw earlier was just the UVs being a little bit too big for the image. So let's press tab and see if that's fixed. Um, not yet, it is a little bit smaller. So what we're going to do is go to edit mode again and just scale it down a little bit more. And now you can see that it's still there. So let's scale it down even more. Um, and that does the trick, all right. So all we had to do is just scale it down a bit. All right, so remember to save your file and save your file. And remember to press Ctrl S once in a while. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.